No, it's a fuchsia. That's an easy one. Right, try another. What's that? Uh... Oh, Amy, that's a sunflower. Everybody knows that. You're not even trying now. It's a bad photo. No, it's a bad florist that blames a bad photo. Right, that's it. You're going with Mary to the flower market tomorrow. Uh, no, wait, I don't want to get up at like 4 a.m. It's 3.30, actually. We want the good stuff. Oh, I love carnations. It's a sunflower. See? Bad photo. Did you get my text? No, we're working. In the pub? It's badly needed training. Oh, she makes me turn my phone off. It's like I'm in prison. <laughs> well, I just wondered if you fancied a quick bite to eat and speed down. No, actually. It's the middle of a working day. Mm, I will. Amy, you've got a job now. You can't just go swanning off to restaurants willy-nilly. Why not? I'm starving. I've not even had lunch. There's just one thing. Dad's coming too. I'm out. Honestly, I'd rather work than see him. Please, Amy, I need all my family together for this. What do you mean, for this? Oh, you're not dying, are you? Because that would be, like, really ironic after Curtis. No, nothing like that. What's so important, then? I'm moving to Australia with my boyfriend. <laughs> Sorry, what? So, who is this boyfriend? And please tell me it's not Curtis. No. He's called John and he's dead nice. Ooh. <laughs> How long have you been seeing him? A while. Well, it can't be that long. You were with Curtis a few months ago. Did you know about this? Uh, yeah. I knew that she was seeing someone, but I didn't realise that they were emigrating together. I don't think you should go, it's ridiculous. Typical dad, ordering people about. Some people need ordering. You're not the boss of us. God, look, I just think it's too soon. But we're in love. John makes me happy. It is pretty extreme, Emma. Are you sure you're not on the rebound after Curtis? Yeah, Tracy's right. You know, give it some time. There's no rush. Actually, there is, because he's moving out there and I want to be with him. We'll go on holiday then. See how you get on. I know how we'll get on. It'll be great. He's kind, he makes me laugh. We're just so similar. Daft as a brush, then. <laughs> yeah. Well, I want to meet this Romeo before you throw your lot in with him. Get him here now. Oh, well, I can't. He's off buying me a suitcase. One of those little neck pillows for the plane. Why, when you go in? Tonight. Tonight? Right, OK, I can get me around the fact that, yeah, possibly you will be moving away at some point, but Australia with some fella you've only just met like now, tonight, straight away, I'm not having it. I know you're upset, but I've made up my mind. I've made up my mind and all you're not going, I forbid it. <laughs> Victorian dad over her. Look, do you think we might order? Because the wait has been over four times. Oh, this is him, is it? You must be... Uh... Your flipping worst nightmare, pal. What are you doing putting ideas in my daughter's head? It's nice to meet you, John. No, it's not. Steve, calm down. You know what you like when you get like this. I'm sorry. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Sounded like you need a backup. You'll need backup in a minute, sunshine. She's not going, right? I want to. No, you don't. Just listen to her. I don't have anything keeping me here. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, Steve, just listen to her. What I mean is, I don't have a mortgage or a job for life or anything. I know it's a risk, but I think he's worth the risk. You said that about the last fella. I haven't been pretending I've got a terminal illness, if that helps. What if it don't work out with him? If we all thought like that, none of us would do anything. I'll look after her, I promise. I don't even know it. Get, get over here! You're not going to hit him, are you? Uh, maybe it's best if we give you two some time alone. You're going nowhere, sunshine. We love each other, Dad. That might be, but what if you get fed up of him and he's oh, thousands of miles away? A meal away and a show. And Why can't I just be in a normal family? I've got no kids. I'm not married. John is my real name. Uh, I've got no criminal record. And um, uh, what was the other question again? Have you got any underlying health conditions? He's not Curtis. He's a good guy and he's never lied to me. Um, well, not yet. My health's fine. You got a driving licence? Oh, for crying out loud. I don't drive. Well, you must have something. Well, what about my library card or, or gym membership? My library card. Listen, yeah. he's your dad, so he's bound to be protective. And I must admit, it seemed like a crazy idea to me as well, but obviously love each other and he seems like a nice guy, so providing his library card checks out. Look, I know all this seems dead sudden, 
But it's what I want. Look, if you'd been going out with each other a couple of years, I could understand it. But you've only just met. I'm going, whatever you say. So can you not just be happy for me? It'd mean the world if you were okay about it. Well, if you're going, whether I like it or not, what's the point? Is it me? I must be old-fashioned or something. Thinking that families should want to be close to each other. First of all, my brother goes, he's in Spain. Then my dad. And my mum's scarpers and all. God, it must be me. Oh, Steve. Well, you've still got me. You can be very cruel sometimes. In all seriousness, though, I didn't even get anything to eat and I'm starving. Uh, never mind your stomach. You are going to push Emma away if you're not careful. She's going to Australia. How far can I push her? The moon, Mars. If you fall out with her, she could be living around the corner. It won't make any difference. Oh, what, like Amy? She can't get away quick enough. Emma can't get away far enough. Some dead I must be. And you'll do for me. Right, I'll leave you to it. I am going to miss you so much, Emma, sweetheart. <laughs> Thanks, Audrey. Well, thanks, everyone. I'm going to miss you all. Oh, you started me off again now. <laughs> Take me with you to Australia. I want to go with you. What about the quads? I'll come back when they're 18. It's a joke. Oh, no, I, I get that. <laughs> we'll have to go. Hey, you take care of yourself. I will. I'm sorry, Dad. I'll be daft. I'm happy for you. I am. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> what, she's making a mistake? Oh, Steve, you just have to trust her. At least I'm not moving to Australia. But then again, I am your favourite daughter, aren't I? Lucky is the man that has you two in his life. All I've got to do now is find that man. <laughs> right, get off me now. <laughs> yeah, then.